Let's talk app images. You know, those files you download for your Linux applications that have the .app image extension, and then you just run them through your file manager. Isn't that annoying? How about putting them in your app menu? Uh, now you could be a hacker man and, uh, you know, write your own desktop files manually in a text editor, use the correct syntax, the correct items, etc, etc. But isn't it annoying? In my opinion, yes it is. But, oh boy, I have a solution for you. Uh, this is what is called App Image Launcher. Uh, it has been around for a while. Uh, so here they have the newest release build. Uh, that is from 2020. Though there actually is a continuous build if we go to here. And that is from 2022. Uh, so that actually creates some potential problems. For example here. Uh, some people have an issue where they cannot run this software on Ubuntu 24.04. Uh, then again, I am running it on Ubuntu 24.04 and it works fine for me. But this seems to be mostly about actually installing it and I have installed mine before updating. So it might not install on this version of Ubuntu. I cannot actually say from my side. Basically on Ubuntu systems, on like Fedora, Something like that, you can run this through your package manager. You can install it through your package package manager. And even if you like are not running that, you can get the app image. And then that will work with anything with app image. Uh, now the main limitation with this is that it doesn't have some features, uh, but it does mean the basic integration functionality is there on basically any system that runs app images. Uh, in other words, any system where this would be relevant will run this in at least some capacity. Uh, that is quite cool, that is quite useful. Uh, so that's a good thing. And what this basically does is that it allows you to, when you, after you have it installed, once you run that image, uh, it will allow you to integrate it. And that means it will make an entry in your app menu, for example, here. I have Caden Live, which is actually an app image. Uh, I can remove it from my system immediately from here. I can also launch it and so on. Uh, straight from my app menu. In addition, here's Inkscape. And as you can see here, there is an update app image button here. The updating depends on the app image itself. It's not a question of the matcher software. It's just the app images have to provide the updating themselves. Though in my case, actually updating Inkscape through this method fails with an error. That being said, this happens with alternative solutions as well, so I highly doubt that this has anything to do with App Image Launcher. I think that's just something either with the Inkscape App Image itself or with my system somehow. Uh, I don't really care about that, so I haven't even looked into it, but I don't think it relates to App Image Launcher in any way. Uh, but yeah, it basically allows you to install and integrate these applications into your app menus, etc. They, it will also move them to a particular directory on your system, so they're all in like one place. Uh, in addition, it allows you to update them if supported by the app image. Uh, and it allows you to delete them uh, in an easy way. So it just makes them feel more like integrated, more like normal apps. Now, there is a big limitation, which is that they do not it does not add them to your command line. So, for example, if I go open my terminal and I try to, uh, you know, launch Inkscape through here, I can't. Or Caden Live, I can't. Because it does not do terminal integration. It only integrates it with your desktop. So that's one limitation. But besides that, it works great. Uh, and it even has PPAs. I mean, if you're using Ubuntu, there are PPAs. So, that's great. Uh, I don't know how up-to-date those are, but that's a thing. Uh, either way, it's a cool piece of software. It allows you to make app images a lot nicer than they are by default. Uh, and it's like the classic uh, software everybody uses for this. Uh, there are more smaller, you know, less typical ones that also do this, but... This is one solution and I think it works, uh, it has worked for me and it's great.